Hello everyone and welcome to the audio slide presentation. My name is Maor and I'm from the Faculty of Agriculture of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Israel. In the next couple of minutes, I will present our recent work on evolution of herbicide-resistant mechanisms in grass weeds, published in Plant Science. Weeds are the most important biotic factor limiting crop production worldwide. One third of the world's herbicide-resistant weeds are grass weeds. Revealing the resistant mechanisms will promote developing of integrative weed management approaches for sustainable agriculture. Here we develop a new tool for functional analysis of herbicide resistance called Briefer, using the model system of Brachypodium. In our group, we developed a new collection of Brachypodium accessions from more than 100 different habitats in Israel. This ongoing effort currently contains more than 1,000 accessions. The BRI collection includes accession collected from undisturbed habitats such as nature reserve and from habitats with known history of herbicide application such as roadsides and planted forests. In the current study, we use the BRI collection to examine the effect of herbicide application history on the evolution of herbicide resistance and investigate the physiological, biochemical, and molecular mechanisms of herbicide resistance. We have tested the response of the BRI collection to four different herbicidal modes of action. 28 herbicide-resistant candidate succession were found with different resistant patterns across habitats. In response to Photosystem II inhibitors, the resistant accession BRI-637 showed high survival up to four times the recommended rate of triazine and triazinone inhibitors. However, this succession did not survive the application of the phenylurea inhibitor, Diuron. This resistance was associated with serine to glycine amino acid substitution in position 264 of the PSBA gene. A significant fitness cost was observed in the resistant accession, as reflected in delayed flowering reduced growth, and low photosynthetic efficiency. Both accessions, the sensitive BRI-638 and the resistant BRI-782, showed high survival rates in response to diclofenac. However, the resistant accession did not exhibit a 50% decrease in shoot fresh weight, even under four times the recommended rate. Likewise, high survival was noted in response to pinoxidine application. Cycloxidine treatment resulted in significant reduction in fresh weight of both accessions. Pre-treatment with malathion resulted in high sensitivity of the pinoxidine-resistant accessions. Genomic sequencing of the ACCS gene showed no known mutations in the resistant accessions. Enzyme activity assay suggests the involvement of a non-target site resistant mechanism. In summary, our survey of the BRI collection in response to four herbicidal mode of action showed large number of resistant accessions. Our results point to a potential risk of the development of non-target site resistant weeds regardless of herbicide application practices. Genomic and biochemical analysis support a non-target site pinoxidine resistance. Briefer tool can help us to create improved weed management practices and find solutions to help farmers maintain sustainable agricultural systems. More details on our ongoing effort can be found in the Briefer website.